Hi, I'm Erin Brown with Homeschool Connections. We're here today with Tom Cox. Tom, great to have you here. Thanks for having me here, Erin. And we're going to talk today about you and the courses that you teach here at Homeschool Connections. And let's start right off with those courses. Tell me about the courses that you teach. Well, I teach a history course, and it's Plutarch's Life of Pericles. I'm excited to teach it, uh, and Maureen was really excited to have me teach it, because it's it sounds like it's just an ancient history course or that it's just biography, but it's so much more than that. I'm inviting the students into a conversation about what it means to be a leader, what it means to be a citizen, what it means to be involved in one's uh, public and private life. And so we're going to look at one famous man's public and private life and really get a glimpse of the decisions he made, the good decisions, the bad decisions, the friendships he forged, the teachers who uh, had the greatest impact on him. And it's just a lot of fun. And then Plutarch will give you that. And we go in slow motion. You know, we take a whole semester to do a life of Plutarch. Okay. All right. I am going to stop you there because there is so much amazing I feel like I just unpacked a huge bag present, full of presents. <laughs> so, so I'm like, oh my gosh, let's stop and talk about it. Plutarch, mm-hmm. that's a name you don't usually hear every day. This is an ancient history course, right? That's right. And um, tell me about th- this, why Plutarch? What have, why did you choose him? Well, Plutarch's one of the most famous biographers probably ever, he kind of invents the genre. And so one of the things he does is he, one of the reasons he chooses biography is because he wants us to study history to the purpose of personal improvement. And so Mm. he is like going to your great, 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 great uncle who knew all the cool people back then and, and hearing stories around the campfire about these people from 2,500 years ago. One of the things I love to surprise my students with is how these people sound because they are so human and you often don't get that when it's really old and really far away and very back in the past, right? The past is sometimes called a foreign country, but we have to remember that when we land in a foreign country, we're still with people. They're just different than us. They have different customs and habits and languages. And um, so that's what I hope to do in introducing my students to, to Pericles and to Plutarch. So, so you teach history and this course is ancient history and the age group this course is for it's best for late middle school and early high school. So I think it says seventh to ninth grade on the label, but we could probably go a year in either direction on that. Side. All right. Okay. So parents watching this, they're thinking of a history course. They want to have a really cool ancient history course. They want to do it with something a little bit different. This is different because it goes again, as you said, through the life of a person um, in the ancient times that we can relate to, right? And what are some of the little nuggets? Can you share a few things for the parents watching here of what kind of things the students can be expecting? Can you can expect the students to learn in these courses? Yeah, it's a challenge because you go back. I mean, where homeschool connections is Catholic, but you go back to a pre-Christian time. So there's, mm. there's definitely a challenge there because you have to ask yourself, what's virtue like for all human beings? And then yes. what are the, what's the new perspective that we gained as Christians that now we can see, oh, Pericles wouldn't have known that or Plutarch wouldn't have judged that way. Um, and so that cross-pollination is super fruitful and it sets my students up for, again, like it's called a history class, but it kind of sets you up for philosophy later and theology later and, and a deeper dive on, on history and politics and people. So, leadership, yeah, right? Yeah, leadership, Humanity. citizenship. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. it just, it touches so many other things that I love to, to see it because every kid will find some spark inside the life to, to set him off in a direction. It's really fun. So I imagine that students in your courses and in this course are, um, they get excited about history because it becomes very real Yeah, for them. Absolutely. Yeah, it becomes real. And then i the way I've designed the class is to put the burden on them. That sounds intense, but put the burden on them for thinking. <laughs> so gotcha. they're going to be doing, it's, it's much more seminar driven. Uh, we'll write mm. narrations, but I really want my students to be thinking first. I want to see that they understand. Do you, are you mm. getting to know this person? But then on top of that, the, the deeper level is, are you getting to know yourself? What are your strengths mm. and weaknesses? How, how, what have you learned by watching someone else's experience? Because other than having the experience yourself, that's the most efficient way to learn. So uh, it's a lot of fun to 
to watch what my students can come up with and just what they learn about themselves in, in a matter of a few months. And this is a class in what we call the classical tradition. Describe what that means. Well, that's been my home base for 20 years. I majored in Latin and Greek, which are the Greco-Roman world kind of was the world in which Christianity came into the world, the Mediterranean world. And I have just been fascinated with every aspect of it to the point of wanting to learn to fluency both languages, the Latin and Greek, which is what I studied in undergrad. So um, culturally, they the Greeks were the first to ask questions like, uh, what is the universe? Why are we here? Uh, where is God and how do we find him? And those questions are so fruitful. We're still answering and unpacking a lot of those questions, even though we have you know, the advantage of being this much further down the, the civilizational um, journey that we've, we've all been on as humans. So it's, it's just a blast to go back to the roots, really, of the tree and then yeah. enjoy the fruits so much better. Right? That's right. And you mentioned your schooling. You mentioned your degree. Tell us a little bit about your background and what brings you to teaching. Um, well, you're a teacher. Let's hear about that first. You are a teacher in a school as well as teaching here online. Tell us about that. Yeah, so I teach at an all-boys school right outside D.C. called uh, The Heights, and I teach Latin and Greek, and I've taught history and English, grammar and writing there. Um, it's just been so fun. Ever since I graduated, I've taught there, and while I've been teaching there, I finished my master's degree in liberal arts at St. John's College in Annapolis, mm. so I've just really push myself to keep going in, in every direction the humanities pushes me to answer more and more questions or really to ask, which also brings me to ask more and more questions right. about what it means to be human, how I can get my, my students excited about really this, this gift of the life we've been given and you have one shot and you got to make it your best and you're, you're unique. Nobody else is going yeah. to be just like you and in your position and have the decisions you have to make. So to train your prudence and your justice so that you mm. can can go out there and really um, live your vocation well, is mm. so exciting. And it's it's really what, what I do no matter what I'm teaching, but Plutarch is a super fun way to teach that. Yes, um, it is. And I, I came to Homeschool Connections because I wanted a way specifically to teach Plutarch. I sneak him mm. into my classes here and there, right? I can teach him in a Greek <laughs> class or I can do it in an ancient history class. But um, Maureen and Walter gave me the opportunity to just teach Plutarch the way that mm. I have long wanted to. And so I really am thankful for that. So the benefit to a student, I'm, I'm going to circle around because I have to tell you, I watched a movie. I know it's a little off the beaten path, but stay with me. I watched a movie on called Tolkien and oh, it was yeah. about Tolkien's life. I don't know if you've seen that movie and when watching seen that movie, but it talks about his education and his, uh, you know, in, in Oxford and, and all of this. And I'm listening to you and I'm hearing that the passion that Tolkien had and in his group and his time and this classical education and the, the love of um, history and literature and its application into the human heart, you know, and the human life. And I'm feeling that through the screen with you. And I'm assuming that's, this is what your classes are all about, right? Oh yeah. That's Tell me that you have another right class. Into. You have another class too, right? I have in the second semester, we'll teach yes. the sort of the other half. So Plutarch paralleled these lives, which is why they're so good for comparison with ourselves. But mm -hmm. he was also comparing externals, comparing, excuse me, externals. Mm -hmm. So he wanted to see how the Greeks were like the Romans, what the mm -hmm. Romans had in common with the Greeks. So the first semester, we'll look at a Greek and get a sense of what it means to be Greek culturally. And mm -hmm. then the next semester, we'll look at a Roman and get a sense of what it means to look and think like a Roman which then leads to great conversations about what it means to be American. Uh, and it's almost mm. always the very next step. Once you've like deep dive, taken a deep dive on two lives, a Greek and a Roman, you immediately see, oh man, as an American, I have so much in common with these guys. Mm. And yet I'm also still different, right? 2000 years uh, further on than they are. So that's really fun. And actually on your Tolkien note, uh, one of the things I love to, to call myself and the Tolkien definitely uh, pushed in his whole career was to call himself a philologist mm. and the root of that word is a lover of words but it mm -hmm. can also be translated as a lover of the word and so for mm. a christian philologist right the levels of meaning that are there where you yeah i love words but i love the word made flesh and he's what dwelt among amongst us and changed the entirety of <laughs> the course of history which i teach right. so 
that that connection is just so cool because it covers so much of what I do and so much of what yeah. I try to to bring about in my students. Like I love words, but through words you're going to learn to love the word. And it's it's such a fun journey to bring students on. I love it. I love it. I'd love to hear a little bit too about you personally. Something that maybe can you share with us those watching right now? something maybe we wouldn't get just from reading your bio on the page or, you know, reading about the class right up of what they're going to learn. Tell us a little bit about you. Uh, it always surprises my students now when they find out that mm -hmm. I broke not one, but both of my ankles at the same time oh my on goodness. my birthday. Oh. <laughs> so, Dare I ask yeah. what happened? Uh, I climbed a vine in the forest and the vine snapped. Oh. My friends called me Tarzan for many years afterwards. Oh. But while in a wheelchair oh. at a wedding, I decided that I was going to start dating the woman who is now my wife. So oh. it was, Providence. it all worked out and God, you know, humbled me in a wheelchair for a few months and I could see the right way. I, there it, you it go. changed my perspective. Let's just put it that <laughs> That's way. That's fun. So you're married. Yes, uh, yes. And do what coast do you live? Do you live on a coast or so where I in the United grew States? up? That's probably another thing you wouldn't be able to tell. I'm from California, but I've lived now in the DC area for almost as long as I lived in California. So oh, wow. it's fun. yeah, we're just outside of where well, we're in the Virginia side of DC. So we love the, the outdoors and the river and all that here. I have five kids. So we love to go on adventures and hikes and yeah, you know, just enjoy the, the outside time, especially when the bugs aren't bad. Yes, absolutely. Well, it sounds like um, just I, I'm loving what I'm hearing. It sounds like you've got a, a neat family unit. You've got a nice place that you've been and you're rooted in. You've got the school that you're teaching, um, these classical concepts and, and building relationships there. And now teaching online with Homeschool Connections and being able to share your love and your passion for history, for ancient history, and for how it applies to us every day. I think it's fabulous. Is there, if, is there something special about the class and the content that you'd like to share? Any last thing about what the students are going to take away from the courses that you teach? Uh, I think I would just say that you'll, you'll definitely have stories to tell around the dinner table, right? When mom and dad ask, <laughs> What'd you learn about today in school? Sometimes the stories that Uncle Plutarch, as I'll sometimes call him, will tell are, uh, they'll, they'll surprise you. They'll surprise you in a good way, so. I love it, I love it. If someone is really interested and they want to reach out to you because they wanna hear more about the specifics in the course or have a question about the course, what's a good email address for people to reach out and connect with you? They can just use my personal email tcox so it's my first initial last name four four at gmail.com i'd love so to T field questions four four at gmail.com at gmail.com all right awesome well it's been great talking with you today tom i i just am really glad that you're here i'm excited that we have these courses that cover so much that cover yeah. history and living and faith and fill in the blank yeah, the more I see of the homeschool connections classes, the more I'm overwhelmed just by the by the riches. It really is an, yeah. an awesome, awesome place where people just bring their their talents and passions to life. It's really cool. And, Thanks, Aaron. And if thank you. And if anyone here watching wants to learn more, we do have the website at homeschoolconnections.com with um, a page with the catalogs that you can go through online. They're digital catalogs and see every single course that's here, including. Tom's course. And um, gosh, we hope to see you then. Thanks again, Tom. All right. Thanks so much, Aaron. Have a good night. You too.